Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, last time when we left off in the Stressed Out Streamer, we were here in Ocarina of Time in Kakariko Village. We had... What did we do? Jeez. Oh, yeah, we, we had just gotten this uh, little chicken egg over here that we had hatched into be a rooster. And we said we were going to do something with him, which we're going to go do right now. This guy. What in tarnation? Can a person get a little shut eye around here? No, not usually. Oh yeah, we have to talk to him. Oh yeah, he says he's going back to the ranch then. I guess we didn't talking to him wasn't the issue, but we need to bring Harem, this chicken now, back over to her. And she'll give us something that we're going to need later. He did a weekend. An extremely lazy guy. It wasn't me this time, but... Rare, valuable Kuko. His name is Kojiro. Used to, used to be his, her brother's Koko. Its blue body is quite charming. He has stopped crowing. There we go, we got Kojiro. Look at that, it's perfect. Okay, so our next objective will be... You know what? There is one other thing I want to try quick. We're going to give Dampy's race one more go. Uh, I looked it up, and it is uh, one minute. You have to beat him in less than one minute. Last time we ran it, it was one minute and nine seconds. So I'm going to see if I can beat him in under one minute. Without the long shot. I'm only going to give it one go, though. If I, uh, if I don't get it, then I will come back and grab it after we've gotten the long shot from the Water Temple. Roll. Roll for your life. Just not into the fire. This is what I mean. He throws that fire down and we don't have a lot of uh, room for error in this one. Should be rolling wherever we can, honestly, trying to save those precious seconds. Thirty seconds we're at. Jeez. He makes it hard, he does. Oh good, we didn't hit that one. We didn't hit that one either. Oh, we only have thirteen seconds. Ten. Oh my god. Oh, we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna make it. Did we do it? Oh, that was two seconds to spare. Hard piece. That puts us at 15. Oh. That felt like a lot of pressure. I'm not going to lie. Now there's only four more heart pieces in the game. There's three in Grudo Desert. And, uh, geez. There's one more other than that, too. Do, 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 do. Good song. So now that we've done that. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the other one's from the Gold Skull Tulas. Duh. Um, I guess we could just go do the Fire Temple now. There's a trading quest we can do with that turkey, that chicken, and I just don't really want to bother with it right now, if I'm being honest. Uh, it's easier after beating the Fire Temple. Because there's boulders falling down Death Mountain. Plus, that'll be like a whole episode in itself. So let's just get this dungeon started. Perfect. Now we can just go in here. Hey, 
There we go. I just realized that's a flat texture on the end of that. Welcome to the fire temple. So you'll notice this door is locked. Let's get our items equipped as we need. We're gonna need bombs in here, definitely. Probably a little bit of this. Yeah, it should be good. Let's go. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna see Darunia. There he is. He named his son after us, so I mean, maybe we should feel a little respectful of this guy, right? Sauce, you've grown so since, yep. Wants to have a man-to-man -man talk with us, but now is not the time. Let's revive the evil ancient dung dragon Volvagea. On top of that, he's gonna feed his people to the evil dragon as a warning to the other races. So we're gonna save a bunch of Gorons. That's kind of our thing, it's what we do. Just save people. Doesn't have the legendary hammer. Please save my people. There is one cell in here, though. Over this way. There might even be enough Gold Skull Tulas in this dungeon that we end up getting enough for the heart piece, and then we don't... I don't... So I've decided that I do not intend to hunt 100 Gold Skull Tulas. I'll probably obtain everything else in the game except the 100 Gold Skull Tulas. There's... The reward's just not worth the additional time. Okay, so yeah, there's keys in those rooms at the Gorons. That's why we want to keep saving them. So we're going to go over there now. How are we doing on fairies? We got three. Okay, that's good. I might try to go... The fourth bottle, too. I might try to get it. If I do, it'll be... It'll end up being like its whole own episode. That's the only... That's, that's the reason I'm avoiding some things. I've already done a lot of collecting, and... Like, a lot of these things end up being their own episodes. Or taking a long time, I guess, is a better way to word that. Take a little damage down here. Oh, we didn't. Uh, with the lava, if you stand in it, you won't take damage until, like, a certain amount of time passes. At least with the, this tunic on. I don't know if it's different with the others. I don't usually go running in around here with... What's he gonna drop? Nothing? Oh, some hearts. Fine. We'll grab one of them to heal back up. There's a door over here, but we can't do anything in here yet. We have to come into this room from the other side. So, we've got the one key we needed. Which is honestly for this door. So now we need to get a few. You can see the door ahead of us is locked. So we're actually going to go over this way. And there's a cool mechanic that gets introduced in this dungeon. But for this one first, we're going to go in here. Get the switch. And there's another Goron. We don't have to talk to them, but I feel bad if, I, if they don't, because then they, like, just stay here forever, I think. They might disappear after you beat the boss. I'm not sure. I don't usually come back to the Fire Temple unless I'm Gold Skull Tula hunting. It's another key. Now, you may have noticed as we came in outside, there was one of those uh, Song of Time blocks up on top of the... Thing there. This one can be kind of a pain. Nope, got it. Perfect. See, sometimes if you're not close enough, you'll know it's ready to trigger because Navi will go green, but if you're just not in the right spot, sometimes stuff like that or the Scarecrow song just won't trigger off. I'm pretty sure in here, yeah. So there's these things, which are cool. 
This is the best way. You just sit here and wait. Then you got one of these guys. There we go. Nice and dead. A little more money. And there we go. We got another gold skull Tula. That's 48. That puts us two away from the next heart piece. So now we're going to try and get over to this side. I thought the mechanic I was talking about was here in this room, but it might be the next one. Well, not the next room, but later in this dungeon. It is, however, introduced in the fire dungeon. The fire temple. Oops, my bad. Try that again. There we go. See that sound? That's what one of the Gorons is talking about, is that if you hit a wall and it makes that sound, it's explodable. Yeah, each of them gives you a hint. When they say Goron special crop, they mean bomb flowers, which bombs are the similar. So, well, they're the same thing. They're just, you can hold them. I like the games, I liked in um, Skyward Sword, that was one of the mechanics I did like, is that you could pick up the bombs and put flowers and put them in your bomb bag. So we got that, which is perfect. So now that we got those, we're gonna proceed through the door that's directly across the bridge. Quick jump. Try to stay ahead of the fire keys. That's gonna end us up in this room. That was not my intention. Rather than climb all the way up, you can kind of just hook shot most of the way up. And then you can just climb up to here. Turn around. Take out your hook shot. If you want to, really, you can take out the keys. Make your life a little bit easier. Might as well grab those arrows. And then we can just drop down here. And then we want to push this block off into that fire stream. And then we're going to want to get down on top of that. It's going to let us to go up here. We're going to run through here. And this is what, yeah, two keys. Perfect. So now we're into this room, into the next part of the dungeon. This section's pretty quick. There's a new enemy we're gonna get introduced to here quick. Let's take a look at it. Uh, it's called a torch slug. Uh, the fire will go out when you slash it, then it'll try to run away from you. It does have iframes. But they die pretty quick. I think that coloring's off a little bit. That's perfect. So we actually, we're gonna jump across here and we're gonna push this block off. Now the switch, when the Gorom was talking about switches being able to be hit by swords, this is what he was talking about. I think this is the first time these are introduced too. And see, they're timed. That's the, and it'll speed up. That's the timer going down. There's not enough time to hit that with your sword and get up where you need to be. So that's why he's telling you that the Goron Special Crop, AKA the bombs, will uh, set it off. Just climb here, climb here. Yeah, so you can climb there. So you're 
goal here should just be to stand kind of right on the edge of this. Drop that down, climb up. And once that goes off, the fire up here will go down. And then you just climb it quickly. Honestly, if you do it right, you have a bit of time, but... Because, like, you're not going to get hit by the fire up here. Then you just go through this door. And now we're in this area. This one's fun. There's boulders rolling around, just like back in the Kokiri Forest. And what we're going to be doing... There's a door there that we need a key for. That one's going to run us over. We're just going to come in here quick. See what's through this door. Yeah, this should be another Goron with a key. There's a lot of keys in the Fire Temple, but it's not that bad. There we go. I didn't catch what he just said. sucked so we don't want to unlock that door yet these boulders are nasty must monsters it's gonna say an explicit word but today I don't feel like them I've probably already cursed on this channel and in this series but I just don't feel like it today there's a switch over here This is the mechanic I was talking about earlier. The doors that fall down when you try to open them. I recall seeing them here, and I believe they're in... The... D Spirit Temple, and... The Gerudo Training Ground. Which is literally just key hell. We'll do it, though. That's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. Plus, you need it's where you get the ice arrow. There it is. Yeah, do, do, do. There, I got the gold skull tool on this room that I wanted to get. We're going to proceed into this room. Can actually go and try and get the dungeon map right now if we want to. This might be not too hard with the uh, better controls. Introduced by this PC port. Let's see. Yeah. It's either the map or the compass. I'm not sure which one. Perfect. So now we just want to slowly come back. Change our direction. And we're going to unlock this door. It's going to take us into the same room, just in a different spot. So our goal here... To do that and run run like our lives depend on it there's a locked door up there but we are unfortunately out of keys however we will be getting more Oh, 
This actually gives us a shortcut to get back up to this area again later, too. Arrows won't hurt them. Looks like you might need some of the Goron special crop. There's other ways to fight them, too, but... Yeah, that's the mini-boss for this dungeon that he's talking about. Should be running into one not too long from now. A few more keys we need to get. It's one. This guy. Yeah, that'll open the one over there. Now, there is something here, too. That sucked. It's okay, though. We can uh, go back in this way just fine. So yeah, this fire follows us. It's not very fast, though. It's just meant to tell you that you're not supposed to stand still in here. Okay, back out here. this work here? Okay, and can I hook shot up to him? Perfect. Uh, yeah, and then we hook shot over to there. I think this is just a skull tula. another one in here. Where's that one at? Right there? That's another heart piece for us. I think we did it. I think that's 50. 51. We'd already hit it. Perfect. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to hit this facing this way. Usually this takes me two, would take me two tries because reasons, but I think this is actually a faster way to come in at this thing. It's only a tiny little chest. Now I'm curious as to what's in it. It's probably just some rupees. Doesn't even seem all that doable, if I'm being honest. 
Try something special here. That was even worse than last time. One more shot at this. Yeah, I don't think it's happening. Oh, there's a hook shot target. Let me try that again. Where can I hook shot it from? That might be the best way. Okay, let's do this. I might have already wasted too much time doing it. Wow. Okay, I want to do it one more time with the hook shot shot thing. This better be worth it. It's not going to be. You know what? I'm not even going to make it, so... Got it. We got it. What is it? It was a gold rupee. What, it, worth it, but not when you only have room for 20-something rupees. So, do we go back to the door? Do I just jump down and pray for my life? What's on the others? How do I how do I get back down? Will this work? Wow, nice. That was uh, that was a little bugged out, but I, at least I got back where I wanted to be. So we have one more. We have a key. There's still one more we got to get though. It's over that one. Oh, this Goron did just run away. Weird. I guess you have to talk to them while you're in the same room. Learning new things all the time. Okay, so that's the key we needed. And I'm pretty sure that's all the keys we can get before we go to the next area. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to actually run back. And we're going to go to the next area. Through this door. So now the fire will start on that side. That's fine. We actually just want to... Not what we wanted to do. I think we can just do it this way, though. Yeah. We're going to go through this door. This one doesn't lead us to a Goron. Every time we've seen one of these tunnels so far, we've been in a Goron. But this is actually to another big room in the dungeon. If we look down underneath, we'll see the uh, room where we met Darunia. Mm -hmm. 
you can see down from here. Isn't that where the room where we saw Darunia? See? Grab these hearts. So we can get past these things fairly easy enough, but the issue is that there's going to be walls of fire. And I don't recall where all of them are. There's one. Don't think we can get him yet, but we did need that door unlocked so that we could get over here. Dang it. Around this buddy. Yeah, those are annoying. And this will actually make that fall down. Oh gosh, let's hope I can remember which one this is. Nope. Okay, yeah, it's just straight. Straight off the switch. These are the doors it was talking about, by the way. The Goron. Gonna, there we go, full health. Let's see if we can get lucky and... There we go, now we have full bombs going in too. Didn't even have to waste one because the bombs were probably five bombs. So we don't even... Honestly, we don't even need to use them on this guy because you can just whip that out like that. You can just, like, spam that to Oblivion. See. Oh, these things are called Fire Dancers. We can also throw a bomb at them, and they'll come out. There we go. That's down. There's two of that. Two of those in this dungeon. Oops. Guess we should be using bombs, shouldn't we? Where was that again? Whatever, let's just figure out where it's at. Okay, it's right there. So we're gonna have another one of these things where we gotta like run up. Though I don't think we need to use our hook shot for this one. Yeah, lots of time. Used to have trouble to with that one too. That's. With these controls, it's way easier. Megaton hammer. Perfect. A couple fire keys are going to chase us. We don't want to bother with those guys. Let's go and put that item on. Our item screen starting to look pretty full. There really isn't a whole lot more to get. Not for that screen. Couple arrows, one more spell, that's it. Another bottle, and then uh, 
yeah, the other items from the dungeons are for that screen. So we're going to stand on top of this. Cool. It's going to bring us into this room. And that does that. There's a blue switch down there, meaning we need a box. And there's boxes right here. Perfect. And now we are here. Hit another one of these. Rooms that you spend very little time in. And now we're here, which is awesome. Now we can hit this. Which lets us come in through this door. Which allows us to... Play this song. Jump over here, use this to hit that. Opens the Goron here. We're actually really close to finishing this dungeon. We're not gonna talk to that Goron. I don't care what he has to say. We're gonna run over here. There is a dungeon. The dungeon map is in another room from here, but I didn't. The compass, I mean, I didn't bother running for it. That's the boss door. My all my episodes were a little longer on this session today, and that's fine, I guess. I was trying to keep everything around thirty minutes, but so far it's like thirty minutes to an hour. I just don't really want to cut the episodes in the middle of doing something, and I don't want to make them too short. I'm sure you all know what I mean, and I'm sure I'll I'm sure I'll get more used to it. I just got to get better at keeping an eye on the clock as we're recording. Oh, another gold skull Tula. I don't even need it, but I'll get it. even though my money's full. Another one of these guys, see? She might just be easier to... Actually, I might be able to whip out more damage. like this and then maybe this doesn't do as much damage as the sword or maybe hitting him with the hammer just does something different Let's see what color he comes at he's blue
I'll show you the guys the other way to knock them down. And then he'll fall right out. Jump attack! Perfect. That took a while. What's in this chest? Probably more bombs to replace my bombs. Yeah. Whatever. One of these will be the right room. It's this one. I don't think... Uh, probably might not matter. Oh, I, I did break the blocks in the way of the other one. I'm just... I did that before I came in. I remember because I showed you guys. So that's not a big deal. So we can just walk right out. Yeah, we're at like 42 minutes, but that's fine. I've, yeah, I've had videos in this series already that have been close to an hour or so. So now we're going to go this way again. But this time we're going to run straight ahead. And we're gonna open that door. We're gonna fight Volvagea. Or Volvagia. I'm not sure how you say it. Underground he goes. Okay. You can't, you can hit. Yeah, you can hit her up a few times with an arrow, but you got to be quick to do it more than once. Well, he's up. Okay. more hits.
Volvagea dead. Or Volvagia, again. No idea the actual naming. I know how it's spelled, not pronounced. Pretty sure it's Volv Volvagia or Volvagea. I don't know. I've kind of heard YouTubers like go back and forth too. I mean, I guess I'm on YouTube, but I, I don't consider myself a YouTuber. I don't have a following yet. Um, at least not while I'm record at the point where I'm recording this. This video will come out a while after I record it, just because of the way I do my series. But there we go. That brings us up to 16 hearts. We're gonna step in here, and we're gonna meet the Sage of Fire. Can you guess who it is? Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, it's Darunia! Of course it's Darunia. You'll notice a pattern as we go. Turned out to be a real man. Turned out to be a real man. My manlyhood is no longer in question. By the way, I, the wild Darunia, turned out to be the great sage of fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Has it? Hey, brother, take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the fire spirits and my friendship. Uh, how did your friendship get in the fire medallion? What do you mean by friendship? Should I wash this? Druni has awakened as a sage and added his power to ours. Don't forget. Don't forget, he. Bangin'. Perfect. So, uh, the fire, the asteroids falling from Death Mountain will have stopped. The red ring around the top of Death Mountain will be gone. And with the Megaton Hammer, we can now break rocks that look like this. There's a grotto here. Uh, it's probably just a chest, though. Business scrubs. You'll see me avoiding a lot of things um, because of the upgrade collecting and yada yada. There's just not a lot more I need. But back here... is another great fairy. Is there a fourth great fairy, I think? Two spells, upgrade to the two magic meter and two of the spells. And this is four, yes. Meaning there is one and two. There's two more left after this. I think there's six in total. Welcome, I am the Great Fairy of Wisdom. I'm gonna enhance your magic power. Receive it now. <laughs> and that's perfect. Been enhanced. Now you have twice as much magic power. We're actually looking pretty deadly now, aren't we? Anyways, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and call the episode here. We beat the fire temple and we got the upgrade that we needed the Megaton Hammer to get. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching as always. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful time and I'll see you all next time on the Stressed Out Streamer. Thanks for watching.